Hello! Welcome to our new apartment, where we are going to be permanently staying in Sydney for the rest of our lives because it's so nice. Hi. What's up, P Nation? We are leaving our tropical oasis of Cairns and heading to Sydney, which is another oasis. We're flying Virgin Australia today. It's our last day in Australia. I know. We're very sad. I mean, Australia has been really, really good to us. With the exception of this whole virus thing happening while we're here, which has been a real bummer, we've still done as much as we possibly can while being safe. But alas, this is our last full day in Australia. <laughs> and we're happy to go home, I think, but, yeah, but still really sad just to like have the end of a whole vacation, a whole another six months abroad come to an end. It's just a sad feeling to have, knowing that all the fun is over and we're going back home. But we love flying, we love flying days. We might get a lounge today and we are gonna go to the airport. First, we gotta get in our Uber. Oh my, get that bloody dog off the road. What are you thinking of? very grim. It's just like a very grim scene. No one's talking, everyone's standing yeah. far apart from each other. It's really Nobody interesting. Nobody wants to be traveling, but we all have to because <laughs> we have to go home. We got the virus around us. Yeah, I don't even know. She made a rookie mistake. Because, yeah. you know, I'm just distracted by everything. I left my laptop in my backpack. <sighs> feeling is gone because it's sunny, there are boats on the water. I just want to stay here forever. Bondi Beach got closed down yesterday, so we can't go to the beach, can't go to any beach. It's probably not a smart thing to do. But I just want to stay in Sydney. I honestly thought we were going to come to Australia, and I was never want to come back. I... It's the opposite. I yeah. can't wait to come back. I want to stay in isolation. I'm just scared. She's a perfect. She loves Netflix. Yeah, well that's true. So yes, Zach and I are traveling through Sydney amidst this whole Corona outbreak, so we don't feel good about it. We do have hand sanitizer, and we're trying to be as safe as possible. But it's very scary, and I'm very paranoid. And people keep on walking right next to me, and I'm like, hey, back up, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just weird because like usually we're so excited to travel. I guess Zach still is getting excited, but I'm just like shut down on it. Like I don't want to travel. We're about to go home. I don't want to bring anything back with me. It's just a trying time for everybody. No one's like super excited to be in the airport. Everyone's kind of having like the like little bubble up, which is really good and no one's touching their face and everybody's using like a bunch of hand sanitizer. We were in the grocery store the other day and we couldn't even find any hand sanitizer. So I finally found this like little bottle of Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer from like two years ago. So thank you, Lord. But I don't know, it's just kind of weird to be in the airport. I'm very ready to go. I was about to walk out of the airport without even getting our bags. That's like how dead set I am on getting out of the airport. The one nice thing about this situation is that nice places are very inexpensive to stay at right now. So we're gonna be hiding out here for at least two nights. So it's really like one day. I kind of said that we were flying tomorrow. That was wrong. We have one whole day here. And then we have to go back to the Sydney airport to get a flight back to the United States. So this is where we are staying for a few days. And now this is a gym, which is really funny because gyms back in America are all closed. 
So to be able to have a treadmill to work out on is unheard of. All right, and we got out of our hotel, well, condo, apartment, I don't even know what it is. I think it's a hotel, and we are now on the street trying to get some kebabs. We're trying to limit ourselves from going outside, but we do need food. <laughs> so we're gonna go feed ourselves and then go back to the place and hide. There's so many. I had no idea avocados grew like this on trees. It looks so weird, they're just hanging there. Did you know about this? This is an olive tree. <gasps> we got our babs. We got the shawarma. We're heading back into our favorite neighborhood with avocado trees and olive trees and this happens every time. We're like, we can live in whatever neighborhood we're in. But yeah. this one really feels like it because the airport's only five minutes away. The beaches are like 15 minutes to the east. Everything's oh. so close. Wow. Beauties. Wow. Dinner with a view. <sighs> Whoa. That was really good dinner. Today's been a weird day. We started off in like the tropical region of Australia up in Cairns. And then we had like this tremendously stressful germaphobic experience in the airport and then the airplane and back in the airport and it was just like oh what are we doing like oh everything's just so crazy right now well i think and it wasn't even like we're in our heads it's that everyone else was acting different that's yeah. what i was we were we were very normal but everyone else was not talking yeah all the terminals were super quiet the plane was super <laughs> quiet was, like, really scared of touching no one smiled other. Like it was no one was on vacation. You know, you normally have that one person at 9 a.m. that's drinking, you know, some wine in the corner of the airport. <laughs> that didn't happen today. It yeah. was everyone was super serious. It was like it's everyone. Like we are getting home. Not even on a business trip. Yeah, it was just a, a somber like, experience. Yeah. So it's going from that and then being able to get this room. It's a beautiful apartment, and then getting a great meal and just kind of like finishing this day off, talking to you guys. Yeah. And, we're probably gonna go to bed now. It's just been a weird day. <laughs> weird day, but we've seen many sides of Australia and uh, we're gonna miss this continent. Yeah, for sure.